no times are bad when you've reached the rock bottom, guys. I don't know what that means, but here, guess what? We're doing this. Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Room 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about a brand new benchmark. That's why right, we're opening up with a new laptop today. Today we'll be testing out the Intel Celeron N2830 with the Intel HD graphics Bay Trail Pain. I ran with 8GB of RAM, single channel memory. Totally forgot to put the RAM in for this video. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's gonna hurt me nonetheless. DDR3 1333 MHz, and oh my gosh, this is bad. Yo, this is what we call a potato PC. I would love to see someone comment and tell me that that's still not low. This is not low end. That's crazy, because why are you playing games if you have something lower end? This is insane. And the, the sad thing about this one is that this doesn't have custom resolution, so I can't change it. I can't get it to use my customs for anything, which is really bad. Really, really bad. Okay, take it slow. Now obviously, we, we could have done a few more things to do Tomb Raider, but I wanted to show you guys how Tomb Raider ran naturally. So going forward in these videos here, uh, I just wanted to put out, I'm going to be frame capping the games to 15 FPS. At certain intervals, I'll show you how it plays naturally, and then I'll frame cap it to 15 FPS because that's the only way we're gonna ever get anything done here. It has a uh, uh, a normal clock of 2.1 to 2.4, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I I managed to use throttle stop again to always keep it at the 2.4 gigahertz, so there's that. But that's about it, really. I mean, both of them are bottlenecks. This is Tomb Raider 2013. This is like my main go-to for every game. This is the first game I test on every new computer I have, just to see how it'll run. Everything has been able to hit 30 at some resolution, but this, oh gosh, this is a beast of its own. I sometimes, when I when I do these videos, I always look to check if someone else is a low NPC test. Let's just see where I could rank in between, and I don't think I could find anyone that came close to the this Intel HD graphics, this, this Celeron. No one came close. Everyone else was way better. Every other Celeron was way better. It was crazy. I was like, damn, this is going to be rough. But I will be doing a bunch of videos for these here as well because I won't have this forever, so we're going to be doing a bunch of videos on this. If you're wondering about temperatures, like I said, I increased my, turf, my, um, my TDP. Watch it basically so that I could get a bit more frames out of it at all times. I mean, listen, my first computer was an AMD E1 2100. You had 1 gigahertz and it was terrible. This is serviceable. You can play this game. We are. Uh, did I even show you the settings? I mean, I feel like you can tell what settings I'm running on. It's 800 by 600 on lowest, but hey, if you didn't notice, now you did. It seems to be hovering around 15 FPS on average, basically, which isn't bad. Like I said, I would have frame capped it to 15, and it probably would have been a better experience, to be honest with you. And I, I think going forward, I will need to do that to get some of these games playable. Otherwise, it's going to be rough. Now, like I said, Tomb Raider is the first game I tested. I haven't tested everything. Some things will run better than others, so just keep that in mind as well. But once again, if you guys enjoyed the new uh, laptop, you guys want to see more of this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, all that good stuff for more epic content. I'm not gonna try go too hard trying to play the latest games on this. I'm not. I'm not. not playing. I'm not doing that. It's not happening. Okay, it's just not happening. They, they won't run, and it's just gonna be rough. So we'll be testing a lot of older games for this one. I may have squeezed one newer one in here every once in a while. I mean, look, 20th, 20th is bad. This is 2013 and it's doing this bad. Like, where else would I go from 2013, right? Dude, it can't even load in the textures over here. I'm just gonna pop through. Couldn't even load it in. That was rough. And this is it in no combat section. This is just, just Laura walking around. But like I said, it's it's still playable, so I give it that. Once again, another a nice frame cap to 15 FPS. Don't worry, the next video will have the the RAM inside, and I'll also have the option to frame cap to 15 as well, because I feel like at 15 it probably would have been a better experience, a lot less demanding. It probably would have worked a lot better. Is anyone listening? All in all, but hey. I just wanted to do this one real quick here, show you guys it's out, and yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of videos. Do you have anything in mind you want to see me test? I will have to do low-income configs for almost everything. 
to try to get these things running properly but yeah if you guys want to see anything don't forget to leave a comment down below of a game that you specifically tested on this and let's see if i can get it to run at 30 fps with some configs i didn't do it for this one this one was mainly an introduction to the laptop just to let you guys know hey i have this now but other than that i'll see you guys next time don't forget please leave a like comment and subscribe and bye enjoy the rest of the gameplay Hunt with my bare hands. I need to find a weapon. I can do this. still works. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. I'm so hungry. I need to find something to eat. Yeah. 